Okay, so that, that's pretty much the complete rig for this series. So I just want to thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something. If you've got any comments or feedback, please uh, you know post below or send me a message. I'd love to know what I might have done wrong or what parts you liked, you know, so I can prove you know improve future tutorials. If there's any parts you'd like to you know have specific tutorials to go in, in depth on, so I'll probably do one on um, gimbal lock and rotations. But if there's any parts that you think need more explaining, just um, please put a comment below or message me and I'll get around to that. And also, you know, um, if you found this helpful, please share it and please like or subscribe because there's probably going to be a few more hopefully good tutorials that I'll try and make. And I'll probably see you around as with this rig. What the next step to do is probably start adding in some facial animation. So we've got this mouth down here. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the rigging series for this cartoon rigging series. In the next one, we'll probably go through with the same rig. So starting off on the first lesson, we'll start off with the the last files, the lo the last rig of this tutorial. And we'll start off going through how to add in some mouth controls, how to add in, you know, like a blend shape driven mouth, but also how to add in some subtle nuance controls so we can have blend shapes and some joint based controls so we can sort of blend the two together and, you know, the advantages and disadvantages of blend shapes versus um, a joint sort of facial control system. We'll probably add in a few controls for the nose as well could get a bit of character through them, you know, huffing and puffing with his nose, things like that. And then especially with these eyes, we'll need to add some eyebrows because you can get a lot of character across with eyebrows obviously. And as we said at the start of this, we've got things like um, the backs of these um, eye cavities. We've created, these used to be a hole because the eyes never came out, so we've filled that in and we've added sort of texture there just in case so it's like these eyes are going to pop out so we'll probably add in another extra cartoony control where we can have that sort of you know unrealistic eye pop out sort of thing so we'll go through setting up um, different things like that so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, rigging tutorial and just thanks again for watching